In three, two, one, go. And we are off with match one, 10, 1073, knocking into the front of the cargo ship, trying to place a hatch panel. Meanwhile, 302, the Dragons is trying to do the same for the side of the ship for the Red Alliance. The Dragons got it, 1073 did not, but it is now time for these teams to show us what they got, even when hatch panels go careening. 55-30 trying to place a hatch panel on the first level of the rocket for the Red Alliance. Missed it their first time, got it on their second. Bedford Express lifting all the way up, got a hatch panel on the third level of the rocket for Red as well. Dragons making their way over. They've got a cargo, they're now gonna head over and get immediately stopped by 22-24 Robo Phoenix, who's playing defense up against the Red Alliance. Dragons were able to maneuver around them and still place the cargo into the ship for Red. 10-23 Bedford Express has all but one hatch panels they need on the rocket for the Red Alliance. Over on blue, we have a minute and 20 seconds left in this match. 28-51 Crevolution, currently ranked fourth they are also working on a rocket. They need two more hat, two more hatch panels. They placed another. They have one barely hanging on. We'll see if it'll be able to support a cargo. Meanwhile, on the other side of the field, Bedford Express, they are done with hatch panels. Time to move on to cargo. In quickly, in quick succession, they've got one, two, three cargo into the rocket. 1073 got a whiff of this and the force team crossed the center line to come over and play defense up against Bedford Express. 40 seconds left in the match. Robo Phoenix is now grabbing a hatch panel from the human player station. Unfortunately, they dropped it, but their partner, 2851 Crevolution, had a little bit more success with hatch panels. They were able to place one on front of the ship for blue. We have 20 seconds remaining in the match. The Red Alliance is still getting a lot of defense over on the side where their rocket is nearly done. Bedford Express just needs two more cargo. They've got one, now they need one more with seven seconds remaining. I don't know if they're gonna be able to make it, but 55-30, their partner coming in, unfortunately missing, and that signals the end of time. Red Alliance not able to fill that rocket with a score this close. We'll see if they will be able to pull out a C7. And they also earn three ranking points. That's gonna keep Bedford Express at number nine, but bring up their two Alliance partners. Blue Alliance, unfortunately, earning zero ranking points. That's gonna drop them down, all of them.